This is a video demonstration for diffraction experiments. Firstly, the materials that we will require. We will require a CD or DVD. I will first show you how to use a CD or DVD as a reflection grating. The method to use it as a reflection grating is the same for both. And then I will show you how to use it as a transmission grating. You also need a laser pointer. Any kind of laser pointer will do. It's just that red laser pointers are most common. Uh, we also need a ruler and a piece of cardboard. Um, you can take out this cardboard from a notebook. You can also use any kind of um, white sheet of paper as your screen, as, and that would work just as well. So firstly, we're going to make a hole in our cardboard and insert our laser pointer into it so that it remains horizontal when we shine the laser onto the CD. The next step is that we're going to find the distance from the laser pointer to the CD in such a way that the when we shine the laser onto that CD or DVD, the pattern that we obtain is completely visible on the uh, cardboard and it is horizontal. To make it horizontal, you can just turn your CD or DVD around such that the zeroth maximum is exactly at the place where the laser is coming out of the laser pointer and the first order maxima is visible on either side of the laser. So after we have achieved um, a good diffraction pattern with this method, what we're going to do is we're going to take a pencil and mark the position where we have obtained the first maxima on both sides. This, uh, this will tell us the distance between the two first order maxima points. Right. Next, we need to find out the distance from the laser pointer to the CD. Now, this is pretty straightforward. I'm just measuring it with the ruler. So the importance of this, the finding out of both the distance between the laser and the CD and half of the distance between the uh, points that indicate the first order maxima is important because it will tell us the angle at which the light has diffracted. And that's very important in order to find out either the groove spacing in the CD or DVD, if you know the wavelength of your light, or if you know the groove spacing of your CD or DVD, you can measure the wavelength of your light. Normally, the groove spacing on a CD is around 1.6 micrometers, whereas the groove spacing on a DVD is 0 0.740 micrometers. The next, I'm going to show you how to use a CD or DVD as a transmission grating. First of all, how to use a CD as a diffraction grating. So a CD only has one layer. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissor and make a cut on the opaque side of your CD. All right, I'm showing you how to do that in the video. And then you're going to take a piece of tape and attach it to the cut that you've made and when you pull it away the layer will just peel off leaving behind just the transparent layer that you can use as a transmission grating right next i'm going to show you how to use a dvd as a transmission grating. so dvd has two layers so you're going to need to separate the opaque layer from the transparent layer what you're going to do is you're, you're going to cut the dvd and separate the two layers and we're not going to use the opaque layer. We're only going to use a transparent layer for uh, as our diffraction grating. Now I'm just showing you that I've placed the CD and DVD, and we're going to compare the diffraction patterns that have been obtained from these two. Uh, you don't need to have both the CD and DVD do it. We're trying to measure either the diffraction, um, the groove spacing uh, on the CD or DVD if you know the wavelength, or the wavelength if you know the groove spacing. So I'm just going to show you how or what the diffraction pattern looks like. So for a, C, for a DVD, the diffraction pattern is going to be a lot more spaced out as compared to on a CD because of the lower, um, the distance between the groove space, the groove spacing is a lot lower. So that's why. So the um, thinner, as we know, the thinner the slit, the more spaced out our diffraction pattern is. So I'm just going to show you is the zeroth maxima and the first order maxima on both sides. Uh, it's a very similar process to obtain a diffraction pattern on a CD. It's just that the diffraction pattern will be a lot more um, uh, packed together. It won't be as um, 
spaced out as compared to a DVD. Right, so using this, you're going to mark the distances of the first maxima again and find the distance. And you can use the same formula as before, the diffraction formula, in order to find out either the groove spacing or the wavelength, depending on what your variable is. This is the end of the demonstration. Good luck.